So this fam liquid ghost and we have the Orfeld juicer, a masticating juicer. Uh, and we're gonna be talking about using it today. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna use some lime, some lemon, and uh, carrot. And also we're gonna be using um, some, some navel oranges that we peeled. So what we're going to do is we're going to start this machine up and uh, we're going to see how it goes. So, so the first thing we're going to do is going to take this, um, the, the tool that you can go and push it down. Um, so we're going to start it. So you can see it's starting to work. So we're going to keep on putting oranges into it. We're going to put the lime in now, I mean the lemon. And it's actually, you can see it's working. And we're going to probably take a shot of um, the actual control mechanism. So the control mechanism you can see here you can actually make it um, harder, faster, and then you can actually reverse out if you want to, but we're not going to do that. So we're going to put it back on soft, so we can see that it's actually still working here, and uh, we'll get this going with some more stuff we're going to put in, and hopefully you can see it. So I'm going to try to cure it now. That's for the carrot. We use the hard, the hard setting. So we'll put some more carrot in using the hard setting. You can see that the bigger bowl is where the, the um, material comes out. And we'll do the rest of the carrot. Now we're gonna go back to soft and do the rest of the orange and the lime. It's very easy to use. It's very intuitive. It was easy to put together. It's not that noisy. And we'll show you how it comes apart after for cleaning. And it's really handy to have this pushing tool to push the juice in. So we're going to pretty much go through all of this. And we were using pretty small pieces at first, but we're finding that we can take like these quarters and put the quarters in. So that's working out pretty good. We're going to be almost done with all of our navel oranges. We have carrot in here. We have some lime in here. Like I said, it's very intuitive. It's not very noisy. I'm going to make, break this one up a little bit. And you can make yourself any kind of juice you want. Again, this is is um, navel orange, one lime, one lemon, and like four navel oranges, one lime, one carrot stick, and we're done. So we pretty much got it done. And if we don't need to really reverse anything. We got, well maybe this a little bit hanging in here. We'll clean this out. But um, you can see it's got the, ref the remains of the stuff that was uh, masticated and it uh, you know didn't make a big mess or anything so you know once we get this thing sh shut off and uh, we'll try it but we'll just take out what we were able to get this is the juice that we were able to make you can see and it's like it's totally free of any you know material and look it looks pretty yummy 
I mean, it looks pretty good. So this is pretty interesting. We got about 300 milliliters or 10 ounces out of it, which is pretty cool. This is the first time we ever used it. We read the instruction manual a little bit and it was very easy to do. So we thank Orfeld for giving this to us. Uh, and then we'll, you get to see me I'll just twist it up so you can see. This is Family Like a Ghost and we just used the Orfeld Masticating Juicer and we're very happy with the performance of this so machine this like and we're talking about we it the Orfeld Juicer, a masticating juicer uh, and we're going to be talking about using it today. So what we're going to do is we're going to use some lime, some lemon, and uh, carrot. And also we're going to be using um, some some navel oranges that we peeled. So what we're going to do is we're going to start this machine up and uh, we're going to see how it goes. So so the first thing we're going to do is going to take this um, the, the tool that you can go and push it down. Um, so we're going to start it. You can see it's starting to work, so we're going to keep on putting oranges into it. We're going to put the lime in now, I mean the lemon. And it's actually, you can see it's working. And we're going to probably take a shot of um, the actual control mechanism. So the control mechanism you can see here, you can actually make it um, harder, faster, and then you can actually reverse out if you want to, but we're not going to do that. So we're going to put it back on soft, so we can see that it's actually still working here, and uh, we'll get this going with some more stuff we're going to put in, and hopefully you can see it. So we're going to try to cure it now. for the carrot we use the hard the hard setting so we'll put some more carrot in using the hard setting you can see that the bigger bowl is where the, the um, material comes out and we'll do the rest of the carrot Now we're gonna go back to soft and do the rest of the orange and the lime. It's very easy to use. It's very intuitive. It was easy to put together. It's not that noisy. And we'll show you how it comes apart after for cleaning. And it's really handy to have this pushing tool to push the juice in. So we're going to pretty much go through all of this. And we were using pretty small pieces at first, but we're finding that we can take like these quarters and put the quarters in. So that's working out pretty good. We're going to be almost done with all of our navel oranges. We have carrot in here. We have some lime in here. Like I said, it's very intuitive. It's not very noisy. I'm going to make, break this one up a little bit. And you can make yourself any kind of juice you want. Again, this is is um, navel orange, one lime, one lemon, and like four navel oranges, one lime, one carrot stick, and we're done. So we pretty much got it done. And if we don't need to really reverse anything. We got, well maybe this a little bit hanging in here. We'll clean this out. 
but um you can see it's got the ref the remains of the stuff that was uh masticated and it's uh you know didn't make a big mess or anything so you know once we get this thing sh shut off and uh we'll try it but we'll just take out what we were able to get this is the juice that we were able to make you can see and it's like it's totally free of any you know material and look it looks pretty yummy I mean, it looks pretty good so this is pretty interesting we got about 300 milliliters or 10 ounces out of it which is pretty cool this is the first time we ever used it we read the instruction manual a little bit and it was very easy to do and now we're gonna actually take the juice it has a little spout on it and put it into this cup And so now we've got ourselves a nice cup of juice. And it's awesome. This is awesome. You have fresh juice very quickly. Not a lot of mess. It's a cool deal. Orfield masticating juicer. Again, we just uh, used the juicer, the Orfield masticating juicer. Again, like we got 300 milliliters, almost a little bit over 10 ounces. Um, the remains of the uh, material from the, the orange and the lemon and the carrots and the lime are all in this container here, which actually was in the, at the, the section of the, the juicer that this is at, it's at the very tip. Um, so when you see it, it's at the very tip here and, and then it comes down into it, which is very convenient. And then the actual juice container again sits at the base here and you can see that uh, now we're actually gonna start to dismantle for purposes we uh, you make sure you unplug it and then we're gonna dismantle it so we take the top part off so we got this and put it on the plate here and then we're gonna just slide this mechanism out and in the end we have the plate here and then we're gonna Take the old, uh, you know, I think it's the filter. Take the filter out. So there's a little stuff in the filter, and we'll clean that out. And you can see what comes out. And then we can take the actual uh, mechanism out, and we're just sliding it out. And then we can just, you can see all that just came out very easily. And uh, now we can just clean it up. I would just say make sure you have a towel around just to catch any excess um, juice in which we are getting off the material. Make sure it's, like we said, it's unplugged before you do any of this. Don't do not do this while it's plugged in. And it's pretty simple. And uh, that's that's it. We think it's a great machine. Again, uh, from just four uh, oranges, one lime, one carrot, one lemon, we got about uh, a little bit over 10 ounces of juice. So it's a pretty cool machine. Uh, we didn't have to use all of our oranges to get some juice. And it's a good way to make fresh juice for yourself. We, we love it. And uh, we think it's a great product. And uh, we'll talk about it a little bit more.